say you have an old dresser or cabinet or anything that has drawers that just don't quite slide right. Maybe they sag when you pull them out, or maybe the drawers are totally broken, or the drawers just don't want to pull out at all. Metal drawer slides will fix all of these problems, but retrofitting an old dresser can be a challenge. Every dresser is different, and in this case there is no space on the sides of the drawers to fit any hardware. For that reason, these slides will be mounted on the bottom of the drawer instead. The slides will need to be raised up a quarter inch to clear the front of the shelves. To clear the necessary height, I will use some thin boards. They'll make a nice solid surface to mount the hardware on. Using some screws, nuts, and washers, I will tie all the parts together. Moving around to the drawer side, we will do a similar operation. Another set of boards will bring the bottom of the drawer in line with the top of the slides. The fasteners are then installed and the process is repeated for the next five drawers. If it all goes well, this Craigslist dresser will work like a new piece of furniture. First step is making the boards. I use some pallet wood. The slides got planed down to two separate thicknesses, one for the dresser side and one for the drawer side. They were then trimmed and cut to length. There were 24 total, two sets of two for six drawers. After I opened up the back of the dresser, I realized that the MDF that I would be mounting to was not attached to anything at all. So I threw some glue on it and nailed it down. In order to get the drawers to fully extend, I had to hang the slides about three quarters of an inch off the front of the slat. With the slide in position, I marked the holes and drilled them out. On the dresser, I drew a center line, used the board as a template to mark the holes, and then I drilled those out too. The space in between the shelves was as little as 7 inches. A small driver and a countersink bit was actually the only combination of tools that would fit in this particular space. If this won't work for your project, you may be able to get away with just gluing the boards into place and using screws to attach the slides. With the holes drilled, I glued things up using some wood glue, moved the slides into place, found the holes, and bolted it all together using washers to prevent any pull through on the MDF side. I went with acorn nuts because clothing in the lower drawer may interact with the bottom of the bolt. The acorn creates a smooth feature that will not snag. Once the glue dried, I loosened up the bolts and measured the distance between the holes on each side. It is important to make sure that they are parallel to one another. If they are crooked, the drawer may not work properly. I eventually decided to mount the slides closer to the center of the drawer rather than at the edges. The dressers old and the bottom of the drawers were sagging. Putting the boards here helped give it some reinforcement. I was also concerned that if the slides were mounted on the outer parts of the drawer, they might bind up if I pull on a corner to open it. These slides were a dollar each and they don't function all that well. Repeating the process from the dresser side, I glued up the boards and nailed them in place. Using some books or heavy objects to weigh these down would also work fine. Next, I fully extended the slides and placed the drawer on top of them. I moved the drawer in, out, and around until there was even spacing on all sides. With the drawer extended, I marked the holes and removed the top of the slides. I marked more holes than were needed for drilling. The extras got used to position the slide so that I could find the hole that I couldn't reach with the drawer installed. I drilled these out, and then added the nuts and bolts, finger tight only. After that, the two additional marks helped position the slide on the drawer before tightening everything down. Now for the moment of truth. It's a little tight on the first push, but then it's a smooth operation. What I would like to say is that every drawer went in as smoothly as that last one, but that was definitely not the case. On the bright side, you can just loosen the screws on the dresser side, pull the drawer in and out until it runs smoothly, and then tighten them back down again. The drawers have a slight drop to them, but they are definitely sturdy enough for clothing. Like and subscribe for more videos.